Hey folks, uh, so today I'm going to run you through an example of how to answer a nine mark question. Uh, it's a paper one example and you just, yeah, I just want to follow along, uh, making your own notes if you like. It's not really about the question, it's about the strategy. So let's give it, um, let's give it a go. So this question says to what extent, okay, can prediction and protection so this is to do with um, tropical storms but it could be earthquakes could be volcanoes uh, to what extent can prediction and protection strategies reduce the effects of tropical storms And that is um, a nine marker. Now, I'm going to show you what I do in the classroom. This is what I teach all my students to do, and it has really good results. So we're going to do something called bugging the question. And that means we box the command word. I'm doing mine in red so it really stands out for you. Yeah, so um, we box the command word, and then we underline keywords so I'm going to underline prediction protection and reduce the effects okay and it's a nine marker now there's not many students who would skip a question like this especially a nice one like this from paper one but just in case you were thinking of skipping this question let me show you how easy it is to answer so the first thing was to bug the question now we've done the underlining and the boxing but we could do a bit better this is more how I do it in the classroom, um, is I'll draw and I'll write around it. So we're gonna draw an arrow to protection, little tiny arrow to prediction as well. Um, we're gonna draw an arrow to what extent. So it's a to what extent, which means how much. So write how much. Okay, so how much. It's a terrible you, sorry about that, how much. Uh, how much can prediction and protection basically save people's lives? Okay, so prediction strategies are things like forecasts and, yeah, kind of forecasting really. Three to five day forecasts, satellite images, computer modelling. Uh, so let's put forecasts and models. Remind me that we're going to talk about that. And then over here we're going to think about protection strategies, so like boarding up windows, uh, stilts, protect from flood water, maybe reinforced concrete so the home doesn't literally blow away. And because it's a nine marker, okay, we're going to look at the nine marker. The fact that it's nine means it's two to three paragraphs and a conclusion. If you don't have a conclusion in a nine marker, you really limit yourself from going up to um, those top grades. Okay, there's no figure with this one, but if there was one, always use it. Always, always use it and start your work almost with it. So you wanna say, you know, EG, oh, not even EG, just figure 15 shows or figure one shows and you really just jump in on the figure straight away. Likewise, if it says use the figure and your own understanding, that is code. Okay, that's AQA code for user case study. All right, I, I wouldn't even hesitate. I would use, use the case study you've been taught. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be Typhoon Haiyan. Okay, and I've seen my students in mock exams uh, write that down around the outside of the question. I love it when I see that level of planning. Uh, it doesn't take long, literally takes seconds, but if that, it's um, it's such a game changer with the results. So we want two to three paragraphs and a conclusion. So I would say, para one, I'll tell you what, I'll do para one with you, and then para two and the conclusion, you'll be able to work pretty easily without. Now we do point evidence explain. I'm just going to write that in, point evidence, explain. That's the sort of format you want to use when you're writing answers in geography. 
And remember a point, you're just stating a fact, you're not using evidence at this point. So you would just want to say, use the words in the question. So to a large extent, and it is a large extent, because we know if you use these methods, you can save lives. So to a large extent, um, which one should we start with? Prediction? Yeah, so a lot, to a large extent, prediction can save lives in a tropical storm. So notice I'm not um, bringing in a case study, I'm not doing anything like that yet. Okay, um, now I'm going to though, because it is needed. So we're going to say, for example, in 2013, if you can remember the date, brilliant, if not, guess, uh, during Typhoon Haiyan, um, what happened was there were accurate forecasts, but they just weren't easily communicated to everybody. So people weren't aware, so then they couldn't evacuate. So we're going to say, for example, in 2013 during Typhoon Haiyan, accurate forecasts um, were not uh, easily accessible. To all residents. Okay, so that means that basically people died who shouldn't have died. You know, they should have been able to have the time, at least three to five days, to evacuate. So we're going to explain that. We're going to say these days, satellite images and computer models. can offer three to five days warning so residents can safely evacuate. Um, you know, you could carry that on, you know, talk about if they're not in the risk zone, then they could happily just carry on with their lives. But yeah, that's your kind of process. That's what you want to be looking at. And then for paragraph two, so if we've already talked about prediction, so I'm just gonna write prediction there, um, we're gonna need to start talking about protection, okay? Because that's the next word in that question. So let me write protection there. So you're gonna start talking about, you know, how important it can be to have your building um, protected. Things like boarding up windows so that glass doesn't break in the wind, so stilts because you don't want the building to flood with all the storm surge and flood water. Uh, reinforced concrete again will hold the building up. So you want to do basically another point evidence explain there. Okay and if you can bring that, bring in Typhoon Haiyan again, or you might bring in a high income country like the USA and Hurricane Sandy, or they had a great deal of protective measures in place there that reduced um, the sort of damage. And then don't forget, forget at the end, add your conclusion. Okay, so for that one, it's very simple. You just go back to the question and you say, kind of overall, to a large extent, so you're showing the examiner that you're linking back to the question, um, you would say prediction, well you could even say which are more important, but that's not completely necessary, but you could say to a large extent prediction and protection methods save lives. Now again, you can, you can beef that out, you can put a bit more in it, but you can see from the layout what's expected of a nine marker, and you can see it isn't really too full on, it's just dissecting that question and knowing what sort of structure to put in place. So I hope that's helpful and uh, best of luck.